Hello people, hope you're all doing great today. So I shared my designs and got a lot of requests from people to show how to design a 3D laid mandala. So here I am with quick do-it-yourself 3D pattern that you could create in your Cricut design space. And I really hope this video will give you some direction as to how to make or create your own 3D patterns. So here it is my Cricut Design Space canvas right in front of you. So I'm going to play around with shapes. I'm going to go to my shapes, select a circle and resize it to 8 inches, making it 8 inches so that it just fits my screen. And then I'm just going to select this, duplicate it and resize the duplicated circle to 7.75, something smaller than the larger circle. And I'm going to select both of them, align them centrally and slice them. After slicing them, I'm going to select the extra circles and just going to delete them. Then I'm going to have my hollow circle right there in front of me. I'm going to select that, select that and duplicate it and resize it to 4 inches. Why 4 inches? It's because I just want it to be half of the larger circle so that I can align it like properly all around, right? So now, like because the diameter of the larger circle is 8 inches, I just made this one as 4 inches. I'm going to select both of them and then I'm going to align center horizontally and align top so that I know that it's aligned properly where I want it to be. Then I'm going to duplicate my smaller circle and bring it down and then select my larger circle and the smaller circle and then align them centrally and then align bottom like I did earlier. Okay. Now after aligning these two, I'm going to select both of them, group it, group them and then duplicate it. After duplicating it, I'm going to rotate them to 90 degrees uh, and then when I have rotated them to 90 degrees I'm going to select all of them and align center after that I have this kind of a pattern right in front of me so what I'm doing is I'm selecting the two groups of smaller circles right in front of me and then I'm going to duplicate them and rotate them to 45 degrees so now that I've rotated them to 45 degrees I'm going to select all of them and align center now I have a pattern right in front of me which I can see that I could you know make layers of. What I could do is I am planning to just you know remove the outer circle here and see how it looks right. So now what I can do is I can select all of my design again and duplicate it right and then I can you know after duplicating it I'm just going to group them and hide that. Why am I doing this is because I'm going to play with it in the end with some other shape. Now that I have the first one, I'm just going to weld the design and then this is how it looks. So let's go about making further more layers of this one to show how we can give this a 3D effect, right? So I'm just going to select this and hide it for now and select go to shapes again and select a circle and size this circle to 8 inches like I did the first for the first layer, the outermost circle to be 8 inches and then select this, duplicate it and uh, resize that one to around 7.25 or you know 7.25 or 7.5. Let's just make it 7.25 for now because let's see how that turns for us and then I'm just going to align center and slice it. After slicing, the same thing I'm going to repeat, I'm going to delete the extra circles and then I'm just going to take that hollow circle, duplicate it and resize it to 4. Now I'm going to be, I will be repeating the same kind of steps I did for the first layer, align center and then align top. Then select my smaller circle, duplicate that and then select that smaller circle and the larger circle and then align center and align center horizontally and then align bottom. After that, what I would do is I'm just going to select the two smaller circles and group them, then duplicate them, rotate to 90 degrees. And just like I did for the first layer, then I'm just going to select all of that on my screen and then align center. 
after that i'm going to select all the, the two groups of smaller circles and then duplicate them rotate to 45 degrees and just select all of it and then align cent centrally centrally okay now that i have that i'm just going to copy paste my design and group that design and hide that for now and then i can you know select this one that i created and weld it so similarly what i can do is i can just now select this my my this layer and my first layer that i created i'm going to bring that layer to front and then align them both centrally and then you know just change the color of my first layer right there and see how this looks okay so this is how it turns out and this is the 3d look that it's giving me right here so you can just keep on adding different layers and then i can just show you one more layer right here so i would just go about the same procedure make the outermost layer as eight inches and then i'm just going to select it duplicate it and make this layer smaller than the outer layer which is going to be around 6.75 because that's how i you know the last one i was taking as 7.25 so this one i'm just taking 7 6.75 a decrease of 0.5 okay align them centrally and then slice them after slicing i'm just going to repeat the same steps yeah removing those circles then duplicating my hollow circles resizing it to four then align center horizontally and then align top then duplicate your smaller circle and bring it down select your circles and then center horizontally and center align bottom right then i'm going to select my two smaller circles and group them then rotate them to 90 degrees right like copy first duplicate them and then rotate to 90 degrees and then select all align center and then i would select the two groups of my smaller circles group like uh, then rotate them to 45 degrees align center and that's how i have my you know another layer right there and then i'm going to duplicate this group it and hide the duplicated design and then now i have this i'm going to weld it so now after welding it i can see that i have this pattern right here my third layer ready i'm going to show show my other two layers that i prepared i'm going to arrange that and send to front and then select all my three layers first i'm just going to change the color color of my second layer and then align all of these three layers and align centrally right so now this is how it looks this is the look that it's giving you a 3d look and you can keep on adding different layers right so i made this just by using different not different shape just a circle right now right so i also you know duplicated these layers again and again so let's see what i can do with it right i can play around with that too because that's how i keep doing i always you know duplicate these layers so that i can in the end uh, just work on them and maybe come up with a different and a new pattern right in front of me okay so let's do that and i am just going to um hide this these layers and then open my layer that i the group okay and then from here i'm just going to hide the outermost circle and see this is the kind of pattern i have so you know i can just weld this now and see this is the third most layer that i designed and this is the kind which without the outermost circle so i'm going to repeat this this step with the other layers that i had made and you know i'm just going to hide this first and then you know with the with this one with the second layer i'm going to do the same thing i'm just going to hide the outermost circle and then select all and weld it so uh different kind like same circles but a little different kind of different difference between them so then i'm just going to hide this layer again and then open my the topmost layer and then hide the outermost circle from this one as well and then uh weld weld it okay so now i have these 
uh, three layers which are like a little different from the first one and then align them centrally and then change I'll just change their colors so that you guys can have a better idea of how it looks just picking up random colors here okay I'm just grouping them so that I can move around my screen easily and let's uh, you know open the other ones that I created so there's not a big difference between these two it's just that I have removed the outer circle and it's giving a different look over here right so this is how you can just go around playing with the uh, patterns and see so like I'm just putting them on screen so that you guys can have a better idea of how they look oh I should just group this yeah so that I can move easily okay so yeah so now they're side by side I'm just uh, wait let me yeah, resize them a little bit so that you can have a better idea okay so now they're side by side and you can see how they look and just by removing the outer circle we have a you know kind of a little different pattern so you know we can play around with more shapes there are so many shapes right here square triangle hexagon pentagon octagon like you can play around with as many so right now i'm just going to play around with the square and let's see how you know i can work with a square and then see you know i can maybe add squares on the outer side of this pattern and see how that you know how that looks so i'm just going to add a square and since my circle the outermost circle was of eight inches i'm just going to make this one as eight inches as well and then just to align them properly and then what i'm going to do is just select this square and then duplicate it and the this one i'm just going to resize it smaller than the bigger one 7.75 because that's how i was following in my circles as well so now i'm going to select these two align them centrally and then slice then remove the extra bits of my squares and then i have my hollow square right there right so now this one i designed i'm just going to remove that other pattern from there yeah so now i have this these pattern what i'm doing is i'm just resizing them to eight again because i changed okay then i'm going to align them centrally and now i have this pattern right here what i can do is i will weld this small this square pad square hollow and the you know the first layer that i created of the circles right so this one with the first layer and just going to weld it so this is going to give me another kind of a look over here so now I'm going to just repeat this step and add the square again to make for the second layer and make it 8. The outermost is going to be 8, right? And then, you know, just simply duplicate it again and make your uh, inside square as 7.25. Just, I'm just, you know, coordinating it with the circles that I follow, right? So here I'm just going to align them centrally, slice and just remove my extra bits, right? Then align all of this centrally and then I'm going to weld this square with the second layer, right? Second, I'm going to select these two and then weld them. Now you can see after welding, uh, okay, I'm just going to bring my first layer on top, the thinnest layer, right? So now this is how it looks and you know, I have given a touch of a square over here and now I can just, I'll just change the color maybe to white. Oh, um, let's just make it to purple maybe. Okay uh so yeah so now that i have this right here in front of me i can you know make more layers i can make uh, another square now which will be aligned to the third layer and then you know keep adding layers like that maybe four or five how many ever layers you guys want with whatever distance or thickness you want but this is i hope this is something that would give you a direction like how to follow and you know how to make your own layered patterns maybe you know uh use more different shapes here so that's it and i would be happy to see if you guys could create something of your own and this is my first ever tutorial video so i would hope you guys liked it and please subscribe to my channel and just let me know what you want to see next if this video was helpful if there was a problem please let me know and i would just try to make it better the next time and i really hope this will help you guys make something and i'm just going to drop the links links 
of my facebook group that you guys should join and then i would just keep posting my future videos over there for easier access bye, -bye.